everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about things you could do with empty notebook. <laughs> so I own so many empty notebooks. In fact, I made a video recently about all of my empty notebooks. Um, I love notebooks. I really truly do. And for most of my life, I've just kind of collected them because I find them to be so beautiful. <laughs> first, of first of all, aesthetically, I just find them beautiful. But secondly, there's something so full of potential in an empty notebook. Do you, if, if you're watching this video, you know what I mean. <laughs> like you buy this empty notebook because it feels like it could be filled with something amazing, with something beautiful or awesome or interesting. And so I collect all these notebooks. And then recently in the last year or so, I really want to use my notebooks. I've just gotten to this point where I own so many gorgeous things and I'm not using them. So I've bro broken the chain. I've broken the chains. I have freed myself and given myself the freedom to just mess my notebooks up, you know? I've always been really attached to this like notion that you grab a new notebook, you flip to the first page, you have an idea, you write what that title is, so journal or planner or whatever, you flip to the next page and you now have to fill up that whole notebook with that one idea. I'm done with that plan. It has never worked for me. I can never fill up a whole notebook. I can never stick to one idea. So I've kind of implemented two rules. The first one is that there's no pressure to finish a notebook. If I just wanna move on to a new notebook, I can. And the second thing is, if you started an idea in a notebook and it didn't work out, switch the idea. Just keep using the notebook, but use it for something else. So today I wanted to share with you some of the things I've been using my notebooks for, and maybe you can use them as inspiration for things that you can use your notebooks for. So the first one, I have these notebooks that are really great because they're just blank. Actually, most of my notebooks are blank, so I'll stop showing you that. <laughs> um, and I'm using these, I have this one and another one, I'm using them as novel planners. So I have this idea for a novel and I was writing it on my computer, but it just doesn't feel as mystical or fun on my computer. So I decided to grab a notebook and anytime I have an idea about that novel, I write it down here. It's great. I love it. Another idea you could do, I'll just hold up another notebook, even though that's not what I use this one for. Um, this one's just empty, um, is a brainstorming. <sighs> Guys, I have a journal that is over there that I use for brainstorming and it has literally revolutionized my life. <laughs> that sounds dumb, but it has. For so long, I would have an idea and I would do two things. One, I'd just keep it in my brain. Or two, I would write it in my phone, like on the notes app. And that's totally a fine way to live. But I just found for me, it wasn't a very productive place for brainstorming. And ever since starting to use this journal as a place where I can just have an idea and write it down, just let it all out on this one spread, I'm then free of the idea. I'm not stressed about forgetting it anymore or about losing the idea. I've got it, it's safe, it's safe in a physical place. And at any time that I have an additional idea under that theme, there I just go add it to that spread. It's been, it's been a game changer. Okay, the next idea is to use small notebooks as travel notebooks. Um, this is not uh, exceptionally, <laughs> original idea but um what I do recommend is using small notebooks it's been a game changer for me when I'm traveling to be able to fit the notebook in my pocket as opposed to having a big pretty notebook in my backpack that I then have to stop and grab it and like it becomes a whole hassle to write no just have it in your pocket whip it out you can write at any time so uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this one yet but again I'm just going to use it as a prop I have a new idea for a notebook that I'm pretty freaking hyped about. I just read a book. I'll grab it. It's this book called um, Tiny Beautiful Things by Cheryl Strayed. Cheryl Strayed wrote, wrote Wild, the wildly successful movie starring Reese Witherspoon, um, based on Cheryl Strayed's actual life. So she wrote an advice column 
for years and it um her name was sugar so people would be like dear sugar i'm having a life crisis what do i do and then she would give advice this book wow so good it was so good um i really recommend it but i had an idea that i would like to write her letters in a book because it seems to me <laughs> that this is a really helpful exercise. Yes, she will never answer and I will never send these letters. But the idea of having to articulate a problem that you're having and summarize it into a question, I think that's a really useful exercise to be like, dear sugar, I'm currently really struggling with graduate school. I'm not really sure why I'm here. And I want you to tell me question like, how do I make it through or whatever? And I think that will really help. I think that's a really cool exercise. So that's something I'm gonna start doing and I'm very excited about. All right, what else do I have? This one again is not necessarily original, but I think there is something original about it. <laughs> Using a notebook for to-do lists. So here's, here's why that's not original because it's a to-do list. Everybody makes those, that's not a new idea, but here's why it is original. Use a pretty fancy notebook for your to-do lists. I feel like because to-do lists are so um, disposable, you just make them for the day and then you chuck them out. You don't really care about them. Because of that, you don't want to use a fancy notebook for it. It's too precious. You want to use something that doesn't matter as much. But I think that's a mistake. We have all of these beautiful notebooks. Use them and you're going to love using it every day. Every day you'll get to interact with a beautiful notebook. I think that's great. So I used this one for to-do lists um, because I liked how long and skinny it was. It, like worked, it was very conducive for a, note, uh, for a to-do list. But yeah, I really encourage you to use a pretty notebook for to-do lists. I think it'll change your life. <laughs> okay, here's another one. This is something I'm using for a specific project. Now this is similar to planning a novel in a notebook, but I think a lot of people have projects they want to make. And so grab a notebook and devote it to that project. This is an app idea I really want to do. It's like an interactive fiction app idea that one day I'll make. Um, and so I really want to, I really like having a specific place for all of the stuff I make for that project to go into one notebook. So another thing you could use a notebook for, and this isn't something that I'm currently doing, but it's something I often think about doing, and it's of keeping a reading journal. You know, I really want to do it, but then I remember that I have good reads and I don't do it. So it's not for everyone, but these are just ideas. Um, every time you read a book, write an entry. How many stars do you rate it? Or how many points out of 10? Uh, what did you think of it? You know, like write a little entry for every book that you read. I think that'd be really be honestly, I think that'd be an astonishing artifact to have. Like at the end of um, someone's life, you discover this book of all of the books that they read and their opinions. That's awesome. <laughs> so those are just some of my ideas for things you can use empty notebooks for. I really encourage you to just go at it, grab an empty notebook, make it empty no more. <laughs> I'd love to hear down below what is like one of the coolest notebooks you have, ideas you've used. I know that there are literally endless possibilities. So these are just a few and I'm excited to maybe take some inspiration for myself from the comments. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.